My name is Ever Jackson. I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. Some people see themselves as a product of their environment. But as I take a look around, I can't afford to think like them. I'm something more than just a product of my environment. I'm an artist. Currently, I'm a student at Oakland Community College in Royal Oak, where I study photogenic technology and cinematic arts. My college career began after earning a diploma in digital media arts at Speck Howard's School of Broadcasting Media Arts. The road to earning a degree has been anything but easy thus far, but I can't afford to give up. I think about my daughter Sahara, and I think about how I want her to be successful in life. And I think about the fact that educated parents raise educated kids. Good morning. You ready for school? Uh-huh. You be a good girl today? Uh-huh. The hardest part of parenting to me at this point in time is disciplining my child. I heard you was very bit disobedient to today. Well, I wanted some more chips and my mama said no. They asked for a lot of questions today. I didn't go in my room and she asked me to go in my room. So, you wanted some more chips? She said no. And what did you say about the questions? Who was asking a lot of questions? Me. Because Mama said, go my room, and I did it. So that's what this obedience is. Do you know if you be disobedient, that can cost you your life? Someone can say, stop, and you don't, and you run into a moving car or have a bad accident. That's why adults are here to protect children and guide you. So if you always asking questions when told what to do, it's going to cause problems in your life. What do you think about that? Um, I don't know the behavior. What do you think about your behavior? Um, being bad. I don't practice Santeria. I don't have Sahara's no Sahara's mother had a very charming quality about herself. But behind that smile was a very troubled individual. Me and her moved to Las Vegas in an effort to better both of our lives so that Sahara wouldn't have to grow up in a place ravaged by blight and hopelessness. Everything was looking good for a minute until Sahara was born and her mother was diagnosed with postpartum depression. Unable to cope, she turned to the only place she knew, the streets. But this time it wasn't the familiar streets of Detroit or South Warren where she was born. 
It was the strange streets of Las Vegas. And she found herself lost in those streets. At one point in time, even kidnapped. After a while, the street life caught up with her and she lost all parental rights, leaving me as a single parent. Man, you was a motherfucking trip, man. What the fuck is this hardest shit, man? I'm hardest my motherfucking ass, man. Tell about your past. Tell about your juvenile delivery game banging ass teenage years. Tell about that shit. Tell about your great average in high school. Tell about your juvenile delivery game. Tell about that shit. Tell about how you had to end up in an alternative high school. Tell about that. Tell about that shit. Tell about your juvenile delivery game banging ass teenage years. Tell about that shit. Tell about how you had to end up in an alternative high school. What about, what about, what about the cases, huh? Tell them about the drugs, tell them about the wars, tell them about the Yankee dude, macaroni bush and you was young, huh? Talk about that, you don't want to talk about that shit, huh? Huh? You don't want to talk about that, typical, where you say you from? Detroit, typical fucking men. They do, you not fooling nobody, they know what you is when you walk in the motherfucking house. They know exactly what the fuck you is. You not fooling nobody. You can't fool them. You are what you are. Okay? You ain't heard it. You can take the nigga out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out the motherfucking nigga. Live by it. Motherfucker. Art is my ass. This art is shit. Art. Art my ass. You not a product of your environment. Not a product of your environment, your ass. No one's perfect. And everybody make mistakes. I've learned to live with the regrets of yesterday and learn many lessons from my past. All I can do is work hard and look forward to a brighter future. <laughs>